What do you think the results are when you crack an entire case of Double Masters 2022 Collector Packs? The hunt is on. How many Imperial Seals am I going to find inside this case? That is what we're about to find out. Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here. Thanks for hanging out with me on the channel today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Support the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Put some comments in there. Let me know how you feel about this product as we go through. I can't wait to share these results with everyone. It is going to blow your mind. Let's get started. Double Masters 2022. It's here. It's upon us. And you know what? This box opening is brought to you by 401 Games. The awesome people of 401 Games here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada said, Mox, man, we like your style. We're going to have you open 32 packs of fun and goodness. Deliver the goods to us. Get us as many Imperial Seals as you can so we can help make all of our customers that much happier. All right, guys, you ready for this? We are going to be opening all these packs right away in a very long, fun video. Let's kick it back. I hope you guys enjoy. Can't wait to see what people feel about 90 days from now. So let's go ahead. Let's start. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Did I go the wrong way in the tab? I hear everyone does that. All right, we're going to get into this action and see what shakes loose. Oh, that's right. It's a pack within a pack. I remember that. People tell me that. I've seen some openings. I should know what I'm doing here. We should know what we're doing. Look at that goodness. Shiny, shiny goodness. Oh, this, these open really easily. Wow. Now that I'm actually handling it. Oh, upside down. I'm going to be careful with these, of course, because they do not belong to me. But you know what? We are going to have some fun. Oh, man. I wonder if all the uh, foiling here is going to hold up. Now, just so you guys know, I'll be putting the uh, commons and uncommons off to the front here. I have my slide tray right there in camera. You can't really see it. I just moved it over for you. And I'll keep the rares and stuff inside the images. But I want to make sure I have space for everything we're doing today. Oh, rampant growth. <clears throat> Pardon me. What? Oh. Look at that artwork, so similar. Rampant Growth, Eternal Witness, very cool. Oh, look at that, Unearth. That is crazy wild. You guys catching that on camera? Oh, that stuff looks so pretty. Okay, Blood Braid Elf, of course. Okay, we got the first mythic of the box here. We got the Dragon Lord Drachma. Oh, and then we got a beautiful, privileged position. Very nice. Oh, yeah, man. We got the Wiltleaf Liege. Very nice. Followed by Anger of the Gods, which that art is crazy. And then we got a token. All right, so I'll leave this stuff here for now. Wait, let's, let's organize this. We'll put the uh, rares in a pile over here. Mythics can go there. Commons and uncommons, like I said, they'll go up top. That way we can just space things out and make sure we have enough room for everything on the, on the screen today. All right. Oh my God, I remember you. I used to use you all the time. Got the, I'm gonna zip by all the uh, comments. I know most of you guys have watched other box openings of this nature, but the Blazing Hellhound, the Centaur Battlemaster, oh, Spell Pierce. That art is crazy good. Oh yeah, the Blood Artist, kind of nasty, but okay. Then we got another Rampid Growth, followed by the Mentor of the Meek. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got the Thrumming Stone. Very cool. Oh, Seasoned Pyromancer coming in for the swing. That is so beautiful. Another Mythic. Great. All right, we got the Nim Death Mantle. Very nice for our Etched. And then we've got the Glimpse the Unthinkable, which I love that art. That is crazy. Crazy good. And then a token, of course. All right. I'm sure you guys would like it if I organize these a little bit better, but I just, I'm not the most organized guy. I'm just, that's not my style. You guys know that by now. Most of you guys know that. We'll put the myth, mythics are still going in the same pile. We'll put the foils there and full arts and stuff over there. That, that makes more sense to me. So we can shape this up to make it that much more organized for everyone. All right. We got our beautiful stagger shock. We got the bear's companion. We got the, oh, <laughs> man, that is some beautiful artwork. Look at that burning tree emissary. 
Now, when you think about this, guys, a lot of these prices, you know, I'm kind of shocked and all looking at all the cards, but these cards are going to wilt in price. A lot of these cards are going to come down. They're going to come down. Hey, another death mantle. They're going to come down to earth really quick. Thousand Year Storm, right? Oh, Hardened Scales. Very nice. That's our etched. Oh, 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 oh yeah. We got Renin 6. Oh, that is gorgeous. Can you guys catch that? Oh, this is um, this is all going to come down to earth and price, okay? It's all going to happen. Things are going to be, for a while, cheap. And then, after the market is flush with product and people start buying it, you'll see things start to change. Prices will start to adjust. They'll start etching upward ever so slowly. We got the rail oh, thought scour, the rot farm. Here we go. The is it boiler works? You know, and, it, and it's just a fact. It's what's going to happen. And everyone's always unprepared for it. There we go. The master biomancer. Remember him? The biomancer coming in. Ah, oh, damnation. I saw a lot of these. I think it was uh, on Rudy's video. We saw so many of these things opened. It was crazy. All right. Hey, Cavern of Souls. This is a great box. You know, I was telling... Oh, and Surgical Extraction. Wow, we are, we are rocking this one out. I remember telling and speaking to people on the channel about this and saying it's kind of crazy to think that when you get to these kind of products, you know, you're going to see a lot of swing in these packs. But overall, they're going to be good. Wizards wants them to succeed. They want happy customers so you come back and buy more. They like those high rollers who are willing to spend that cash to get this stuff done. Hey, Vampiric Rites. Unearth again. Hey, we got the uh, beautiful uh, Coiling uh, Oracle. Richard Kane Ferguson, man. That's crazy. All right, a Wall of Omens. That's beautiful. You guys catch that? Kind of reminds me of Elspeth a bit. Okay. And then we've got the Sky Summoner. Definitely not the card I'd like to see right now, but that's okay. Oh, but there we go. The Phyrexian Altar. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous. And then we've got, okay, we got the Thistle Down. Sure, that's our... Oh, Hardened Scales again. All right, all right. Not bad. That wasn't a bad pack. A lot of good rares in that pack. Maybe not tons of Mythics, but we are definitely going to see people enjoying this product for a while. There'll be a big splurge of openings, and everyone's going to go just crazy, happy, joy, joy. And then... Reality will set in. Prices will start to solidify. Um, if you bought at these pre-release prices, I think you're going to be pretty happy with what you've decided. I think some of these cards are really going to swing upward. Here we go. Right? All right, we got the Mine Rack Leech. That's fine. That's good. All right, Supreme Verdict. Look at that thing that sliced up. Sliced and diced. Okay, the Ascendancy. That's our etched. Wow, that's Marcheska. Oh my God, Marcheska, the Black Rose. Look at that. That is so crazy. I'm going to have to take a while to dissect that card. That card is going to blow my mind for a while. That is, wow. That is something. All right. Our next pack. Think of my boxes we get to do. This is crazy. Now, this video will, of course, be a little bit longer. And 401 Games was nice enough to do it for us. So, thank you again, 401 Games, for being there, supporting the channel, helping us out with the Inquisition of Gozalek. That's a very cool card. All right, then we got, all right, the Dreamer, sure. All right, we got the Dusk Rose, very nice. Again, crazy artwork. I'm going to have to take a while to actually look at that. Because when I see those cards, I'm like, that is just, that is some crazy, Ugh, getting focused there. There we go. All right, okay, we got the Liege again. Oh my goodness, another Red and Six! <laughs> all right, that is our second Red and Six already. But we do not have, you notice we do not have any seals yet. Pack, box number two, pack number eight, no seals yet. Not a single seal. I can't wait to see, that, those bolts are pretty. I can't wait to see how this all, oh, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Nick, I know he's not worth a hot minute, but look at that. It's Nick Bulls, the Pharaoh God, coming in saying, hey, I'm here. Then we got the Pything Needle. Very cool. All right, hey, we got the, uh, the Mist Stalker. Okay. I know these aren't the high-end mythics, but still, double mythic pack. We got the anger of the gods again, and we got our token. Okay, I can take that. I can accept that and go on to box three and say, what is in store for us next? Because you know what? Everything here is awesome. Everything is on fire. You don't know what to expect, but you're expecting something awesome. And so far, I'm not disappointed. 
But if you got one of the packs that didn't have one of the bigger cards, I can see how you'd spend all this money and not be very happy. I can see why people are going that singles route. I noticed a lot of the sales here were really tapped out at 401 Games and some of the other stores I deal with. And 401 Games, man, at least you came through, kept your honor, made sure you didn't cancel people's orders. I do appreciate that, and so is everyone else out there, so thanks again. All right, we got the command. All right, the command. We're going to take a look at all those uh, mythics at the end. Don't worry. Hey, the Grave Tide. Look at him. Oh, let's go down again. There we go. Camera's a little fidgety. That is gorgeous art. And a, a lot of these liege guys seem to be in the etched foil, don't they? Oh, the pithing needle. That looks gorgeous. I know it's probably not going to be the most expensive card, but wow, the art on that looks nuts. So I wonder how people are going to feel knowing after all this product comes out, hey, Skeletal Archer, all that awesomeness is revealed to everyone. Is everything going to settle down? Ah, the mentor of the meek, the blood artist again, the crinarium. Ah, I said canarium. <laughs> mentor. Okay, here we go. Bring to light. That's what, Battle for Zendigar? I think so. All right, we got the Oracle of Moldaya. That art is crazy good. I love that look. You can go in the full art pile. Oh, we got the Sphinx. Okay. Oh, full art foil of City of Brass. That will fetch a pretty penny. That is a gorgeous card. Way to go. That's, oh wait, that goes over there. That is going to do very, very well. Some of these cards are going to be like expensive for a while. And you guys will have to decide if that's the price you want to pay. I know that's how I'm feeling. I'm going to be looking at it saying, you know what? Which card at which price seems reasonable to me? Oh, Mana Vault. Yeah. That's okay. That's a hit. Look at that bad boy. We have so many good cards. These are on fire. These packs are crazy good. Look at this stuff we're getting. Another hardened scales. All right. And then we got the, uh, the hate seed. Okay. We got the hate seed and etched. And then Teferi's Protection. No complaints there. Wow, that was a great pack. That was nuts. That, oh man. Whew. Whew, I gotta, I gotta calm down. Gotta get the heart rate under control. Gotta bring myself down to earth. This is ooh, more excitement than I can handle at my old age. All right. All right, curl keep. All right, curl keep. You can just sit over there. Glimpse the Unthinkable again. Love the art. All right, we got the Dockside Extortionist. Wow, what a box, guys. Dockside Extortionist. That is, I don't know, is that etched? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, Dockside Extortionist followed by, by Liliana of Last Hope, of The Last Hope, The Last Hope, whatever you want to call it. Look at it. I'm just too excited. I'm too excited. Look at this. That is crazy. Okay, so Dockside's a mythic, and she is a mythic. Wow, okay. Token, I'm sorry I dropped you. You can go over there. You're now a, a lightly played token. That's how it is. All right, next box. We're only halfway through. Whew. I'm telling you, this is crazy stuff. Let's get these four packs out there and let's see what we're going to do next. What is going to happen? Where is an Imperial Seal, people? Tell me we're going to get one somewhere. Tell me it's going to be there for us. All right. We're going to get through. Let's get to the action. I mean, not that the commons and uncommons are horrible. But we're going to get to that action. And there we go. A child of Alara. I remember using this way back in the day to board wipe stuff. Oh, Smothering Tithe. Look at that. I love that art on the card. I will be picking one of these up, by the way. I know I'm going to get one. That's one of the... Oh! Yeah! Okay. This is the... I guess that's the etched version of Force of Negation. That is crazy. And Thousand Year Storm. Wow. Okay, we are definitely not complaining with the packs we're seeing. The value definitely seems to be here like I thought. I mean, I'm not pulling an Imperial Seal, but there's more than enough cards here you could probably trade for one and still have a lot of leftover stuff for yourself. All right, let's see here. Oh, look at that. I can't believe they reprinted the Swift Spear so quickly. That's going to just collapse that price. Uh, Bloom Tender, very nice. Sorry, let's bring you back out again. Let's get that back in focus. Bloom Tender, very cool. Gifts ungiven. Oh, I, I pulled ahead. I'm sorry. It popped out of my hand. The Dauntless Escort. And then, of course, we have the Consecrated Sphinx. Very cool. That is a beautiful mythic. All right. 
Sorry about that pack. What could I say? It slipped out of the hand, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But we are going to have a good time with this. This will probably be what a bonus video you guys are watching because I said, you know what? I have to get this one up. I want to get in there. I want to share this amazing box opening. And again, it's brought to you by 401 Games. They just said, hey, you can have all this and have some fun. And I was like, thank you. We're going to have some fun and we're going to share it with everyone. Teferi's Protection, which of course popped out of focus. Very nice though. Then we got the Green Sun Zenith. Definitely not the priciest card, but you know what? I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, oh, the Grand Arbiter Augustine the 4th. Is that the 4th? Could be the 4th. Oh no, that goes over there. Sorry, I moved that one over and I moved that one over. I made a, a slight calculated error. All right, here we go. We are halfway through after this pack, halfway through the box opening. Can you believe it? There's this many boxes to go. It is going to be insane because we still have not pulled. There we go. There's a card stuck together. Oh, the Sanctuary, sure. All right. We got the Pillar of Perums, which of course is very nice. Oh, Surgical Extraction. Man, some of these cards are like the $15, $20 level. They are just going to collapse in price. Uh, we got the Council of uh, Allocation, sure. Hey, Forbidden Orchard, I remember you. Taco Bell remembers you, and what a great card. I, for some reason, forgot this was in the set. That's cool, you know what? That's a beautiful card, I like that art. It kind of, you know, impressionist style. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna pick one of those up. All right, that had some great packs in it, but you notice it wasn't as spicy as some of the ones we've seen so far. So I'm not sure how happy I would be with that particular box getting it when you're spending that kind of money. Let's see if we can make it up with this box. Because you know what? There's still lots of boxes to go. That's what I like to see. We got a little bit here, a little bit there, and we can bring in the fun. All right. Let's get past all these bad boys and see what shakes loose. All right. We're back to the blood artist. All right. There we go. We got the Trader King coming in. Hello, Trader King. You're such a traitor. All right, we got the, you know what, I haven't seen any Eldrazi yet either. We got the Plasm. Oh, Assassin's Trophy, so cool. That is really nice. I mean, it really pops, guys, here on the screen. I know you can't quite see it, but that is a popping good card. And then we got the Orary, another nice one. And then we got our token. All right, that was a nice pack. That is some cards I would definitely, you know, I gotta make sure I take a note of some of these, put them on my spreadsheet as cards I do wanna pick up. Because sometimes you get lost in the moment. You're not thinking. You're like, oh, you know what? I did want that card. All right. Let's get past the... Oh, there we go. Another Forbidden Orchard. Just the, the regular Forbidden Orchard. You know, it's hanging in there. All right. We got a Bloom Tender Full Art. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh look at that. I did it again. These cards are kind of like really smooth. Uh, we got the Harvester, which I remember using that back in the day. And there we go. There's Cause, like there's our first Eldrazi. Nice full art foil coming at you. That art is so creepy. I oh wait, it's a mythic. It's a mythic, goes in the mythic pile. I'm keeping those mythics together, don't you guys worry. When you see this much stuff being open, you're just like, ah, oh, get your fix in. Stay to the end, have some fun and enjoy each and every car. Oh, Terminate, nice one, rampant growth. Terminate again, what is going on? We have another force of negation. Wow, that's our second one. That's awesome. All right, we got, oh, the Grim Flare. Okay, again, that's got to be Richard Kane. Yeah, it is Richard Kane Ferguson. That is crazy. Love that look. Oh, another Season Power Mancer and Etched. That is very nice, too. Wow. Oh, that's still Mythic, though. All right, oh, Bloom Tender again. I've seen quite a few Bloom Tenders. There's certain cards that... Um, Oh, that is a full art. There are certain cards that do seem to tend to repeat. I'm seeing more often than others. And still, we have not opened a seal on camera. You think with this many packs, I would have gotten a seal by now. Just to say I opened one on camera. This is the best chance I'm ever going to get. This is my shot to open that. All right, we got the Merciless. Oh, then we got the Bloodforged uh, Battle Axe. Very nice. Oh, I did it again. See? I don't know. Sticky. Uh, to Fairy's Protection, and I really enjoy that one. But you know what? I think that's what I'm going to pick up. That is a very nice... Oh, and then Surgical Extraction. And then we got... Okay. And then we got the token. So, we are down to our last three boxes. We That's 12 packs, right? We still have not got our seal. Can you believe that? 
There's still been no seal action for us. I kind of like the packaging, by the way. Box within a box. Still a little wasteful, but, you know, it's only four packs, too, which makes you think it's really wasteful. This product is going to be remembered for so long, guys. People are going to just think fondly back on this and say, what a great set this was. All right. We've got the Imperial uh, Inferial Angel. Hard to see the wings there. You know, angels, you know, you want a good time with that. Our ot, we got the Dusk of the Black Rose again. We got Marcheska. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smiles at death. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you. Oh, I remember you. Oh, nice. Okay. That's just a rare. We got the Divining Top. I am going to be picking one of these up. So if I don't get one of my packs that I'm opening, which, by the way, uh, that'll be like next week when I pick my stuff up, when it gets uh, shipped out to me. Um, I'm hoping to draw that card. If not, it's on my hit list as well. Even if it's more expensive, I'm definitely picking it up because it's one I want to get. The Divining Top, I need a play set. I, wanna, I don't want to have to switch between decks. I know that feeling, right, guys? Get those singles, pick them up. I mean, obviously, there'll be a lot of these going to back to 4-1 games, so they'll be having a lot of cards in stock. All right, we got the uh, Ashmore Liege, which, again, I need this for my Throw Bowl deck. So I'll be picking one of these up, that's for sure. That's just a rare. Rare. Oh, I didn't even see this, guys. You probably saw it. I was looking off camera to put that down. Ulamog of the Infinite Gyre. So awesome. Hey, I remember when Sidisi used to be like a $15, $20 card. They killed the value on that. They buried it. It's gone. That's a foil etched. Oh, there we go. The Blessed. All right. Again, Unicorn. So cool. That is so nice. All right. That was a pretty good pack. That was a couple of... A couple of mythics in there. I mean, there's some of these packs, you really get them jam-packed with stuff, but still no seal. I'm going to keep complaining that I don't have my seal. All right. It's a good thing I pre-ordered it. Uh, Bedlam, Reveler, sure. Oh, the Command. Look at that. That's good artwork. I like that look. Then we got the uh, Prowler. Off camera there. Sorry. Prowler. Oh, Panharmonicon. Very cool. All right, that's going to go there, full art. We're going here. Oh, 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 don't make the mess. Keep everything neat and tidy. We're keeping things neat and tidy today. Trying really hard to keep it neat and tidy. Just to say we did everything correctly. Oh, my goodness, Vesner. Remember good old Vesner? Whew, that's an old, that one's from back in the day. We got the Grand Arbiter again. All right, we got the uh, Renegade. As our etched. Oh, Phyrexian Altar Full Art Foil. I hope these don't start curling. They look like they'll be okay. But time will tell on how it goes. Okay, we are down to our last two boxes. We have still not pulled a seal. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling diminished. We got what? A few of the uh, Force Negations. We got a Dockside Extortionist. We got a few things going here. Oh, we got a Mana Vault as well, but we don't have is our beautiful, one-of-a-kind seal in our hand to say I opened one. So let's get this party started. Let's find... Oh, it starts out right like that? Okay. Yeah, it is. That's uncommon. I'm starting it right away with the Mist Stalker. Okay, Mist Stalker, welcome back. Glad you're here. Oh, Concordant Crossroads. I like that art. Can you guys see that there? Let me bring that up. Let's see if I can get a little closer so I can get an angle on that. That is gorgeous. And then we have the Fiery Justice. Oh, three. Okay, guys, this is a three mythic pack so far. Look at that, three mythics. I understand not all these are valuable, but then we get another Dockside full art, and you're like, wow, foil Dockside, like, that's crazy. What a what a pack that was. Oh, man. Well, that, this excitement is crazy. I'm like dying here, guys. It is so hard to keep my hands steady, to focus on what I'm doing, trying to film this all because it's a longer filming than I would normally do. You guys know it's a big one. And you're sitting there looking at it going, how can you contain your excitement knowing that these products are out there? Surgical Extraction. And we got Damnation again. 401, thanks again, man. You guys are awesome. We got the Dusk Roses are etched. And our Blood Forged Battle Axe. All right, and then we got that. Okay, Blood Forged goes over there. Let me straighten that pile up. All right, we're down to our last six packs and we still don't have a seal. That's how difficult, apparently, it is to get the seal. And we talked about that. 
We've mentioned that in a few videos. I really thought that was the way things were going to go. It made sense to retain the value of a card like that if you don't want to drop too much the first time. All right, Anger of the Gods, hanging in there. Oh, Consecrated Phoenix, very nice. Oh, that is an etched version of Ren and Six, and it is really popping on my screen here. It has that kind of mooted tone, the blending of the green and red with gold. That is crazy good. Wow. Guys, I love it. Oh, and we got Ulamog. Oh, no, I think that's, uh, that's not an etched one, but still, that is gorgeous. And we got ourselves an Ulamog. Th th these packs are nuts. How can anyone complain about what they're getting in these? That is insane. That is just, whew. We got some serious value inside these packs. And people, hey, Aether Vial, nice. Aether Vial for the swing, I like it. All right, Aether Vial, it's a regular one. Uh, our first Chaos Warp, I saw some box because I had like doubles of these. I'm glad I haven't gotten a lot of them. I don't think the value is really going to be there again. It's just going to die out and be a nothing. The Arbiter. Oh, now this, you know what's funny? That kind of reminds me of the, um, the Aether Vial from Kaladesh. It has that, you guys see that? It kind of reminds me of the Kaladesh Aether. I'm going to have to take a look at that. I think that's the Kaladesh Aether Vial. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, this is it. This is the last box. Again, giant shout out, man. 401 Games, thank you everyone who watches my channel, supports this stuff each and every day, enjoys the videos, leaves comments, gives the videos thumbs up. This is what I'm talking about. You guys, 401, you guys are all awesome. You know, being able to talk about this with you guys and have these conversations, look at these amazing pieces of artwork and gameplay cards, just awesome. So this is it. We are going to get the seal in the next four packs. It is going to happen. What are the odds this entire case did not have an Imperial Seal in it. What are those odds? We're about to find out. Okay. We're starting things out with a Grave Crawler. Grave Crawler can go down. Then we've got Anger of the Gods. That's our full art. Then we've got the Nest Tender. Okay. That's our etched. And then the Command. Okay. Mwah, mwah. Nothing there. Next pack, is this the one that will have the seal in it? Because I'm just going to walk away if we get the seal. I'm just going to be like, yep, that was it. My day, my day has become perfect. Nothing can make it better. It's just the way I feel. All right, here we go. Rafik of the many. Not the card I'm looking for. Hey, force of negation though coming in. That's what, number four or number five in the video? Very awesome. Look at that. That art is crazy. Look at I'm deflecting everything. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. All right, we got the uh, Arbiter. Lenin and Arbiter. The privileged position. And that's okay. Two packs left. Come on, guys. We can do this. We can get that seal. I love how easy these packs open. It's definitely making it easier for this. Okay, here we go. Okay. We've got the command. All right, we got the Trader King, which, by the way, that is some crazy looking artwork. Love it. Bring to light. Definitely not the one I wanted to see in this case for etched. Hey, we got the Grim Flare, though. That does look pretty cool. Okay. This is it. This is the pack that better have the Imperial Seal, or I'm not going to be happy. But thanks again to 401 Games. I know, I, I know I've said a lot this video, guys. But when they're, when they're putting out this kind of product and allowing me to handle this much stuff, you got to show that appreciation. You got to show that love and say, thank you, guys. You're amazing. Whew. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to get here. Okay, I'm going to slow everything down now. If I'm going to torture myself, I'm going to be looking right here and saying, this is it. We got the charm. We got the tree emissary. We got the Boros, a Tree Emissary again. Okay, we got, that's like a double-double. All right, we got the Arbiter. Come on. Then we got the Assassin's Trophy, which I like the art, but not what I'm looking for. Come on, Imperial Seal. Come on, come on, come on. 
We got an etched of the walking grave. Definitely not it. Come on. Uh, okay, it's mana drain. It's beautiful. Wow. Guys, that is a hard cookie to crack because we did not get the card I was really hoping to see. So I'm just organizing all these properly now. Um, it didn't end up the way I thought it would, but we've opened a whole case. So I'm going to flash these cards here of all the mythics we got inside just to end things off, okay? So we got the Mana Drain, Trader King. I'm just going to flash through, let you guys see everything that we got in a case. It'll give a little indicator. I'm going to keep tabs on all these. We'll see how the prices follow through. But when you start taking a look, and again, no etched foil, but with all the crazy awesome cards we got here, there's a lot of value here. These packs have a lot of things going for them. And the single market, well, there'll be a lot of stores like 401 Games that are going to have a lot of these things up for sale anyway. So you can always buy your cards on the secondary market if you don't get the card you want, which is perfect. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks a lot, guys, for hanging out with me. MTG Mox, man, can't say a big enough thank you to 401 Games and everyone who watches this video to the end. And thanks again for donating that box. 401 Games is going to be awesome. We'll have that wheel on the weekend, and we'll do that opening next week. Looking forward to seeing what everyone says about this amazing product, Double Masters 2022. Talk to you guys soon. And of course, a big shout out goes out to all the fantastic patrons on the channel who support this channel each and every day. Patrons make the world go round. You know it's true. Thanks again, everyone. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Here we are at the end of the video, and now you know what happened. Not so easy, is it? Not so easy. I've got lots of information to share next week in some videos, and I can't wait to get to it. But amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus video. A big shout out to 401 Games for allowing this all to happen, guys. They're amazing. They've been really great to the channel, the same as all of you have been. Real supporters. Every you guys are awesome. You know it's true. So is 401 Games. Big shout out. Thanks again, guys. <sighs> That's why I shop there. It's wicked. All right. Can't wait to see what you guys say. Thanks a lot for hanging out because you're the special people. You made it all the way to the end of this video and you're still here now. That's crazy. You guys, true believers, man. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have an awesome day. Hope you enjoyed the video.